Well, hey everybody. Just a short part of this video for now to show you what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of welding uh, and grinding on the frame, filling up all the extra holes. I did go ahead and make some fish plates for the back right here. And uh, I am getting a little bit better on my welding. Not so many booger welds anymore. But it's doing all right. And uh, been filling up all the holes on the side of the frame, which is quite a few of them, uh, that I don't need or will be using. That's where the steering box is going to come out of, steering shaft. I still have to uh, work on the frame horns here. At some point, I think it the frame got hit sideways with the, with the bumper on. It kind of bent the frame horns a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad, but it's noticeable, so I'm going to try to bend them back. Maybe just by heating. I hope I don't have to cut them and bend them and then weld them, but we'll see how that goes. Well, looks like the frame is pretty much done. It's all welded up, finish welded, and done. Got the center braces in there. And the frame is way stiffer now. It's a lot heavier, but it's way stiffer. Final welded by motor mounts in, in there. And I was able to straighten the horns with uh, some heat. They weren't too bad off, so got those done. I did find some cracks. Uh, my front cross member, I welded up on both sides, ground down. Uh, pretty good penetration. Oops, looks like I got my... Well, let me look. Might have to check that one out. Too. There might be one more. But, uh, took care of that. But the frame is, uh, done, I think, so far. <laughs> There's always something else. Well, hey everybody, uh, since the frame is, I mean, not done done, but you know, <laughs> done enough for now until I get other parts that I can uh, find out where to mount the rear shock mounts right here, and then also the front shock mounts, but I need my, I think I need my front end in there and my rear end in there to get those aligned right so I thought it would be a good time to start working on the rear end so I drug the 39 rear end out and uh, took off the wishbones and uh, backing plates brakes all that stuff I finally got my hub and drum off by heating it really hot with a torch red hot uh, but I did get it off which is good um, but now I'm draining the oil and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut these these original mounts were for a spring behind setup and I'm going to use like the model A um, axle with the spring over the axle so what I'm going to have to do is just cut these off and either some guys use the uh, the model A hanger they cut it off the axle um, right here and then they use these two bolts to mount it up and weld it uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that I don't know how good the spring how good of shape the spring hanger is here it doesn't look very good I can see it's all wallered out there but uh, there's other options um, so but I am going to make it a spring over like the Model A <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to go ahead and you know mount it right here probably bolt and weld uh, I'm also going to have to shorten that drive line and uh, torque tube to fit in there. But right now, I really got to see if this rear end is any good. I don't know what the gears look like inside. So I'm going to go ahead and tear it apart. I've never tore one apart, but I guess I'll figure out how to do it and put it back together. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I've unbolted the torque tube from the rear end and 
I want to slide it out, I've removed the speedometer sensor and uh, inside there is a little clip you have to remove before the torque tube will slide out of the rear end. And a couple of uh, pins that were like riveted in there, swedged in there. I uh, drilled the tops off of those and used a pin punch, punched them out. Now I should be able to remove the drive shaft. Now there's a couple of keyways go in here that you have to go in here you have to remove. And uh, took a wire brush to the axle. Clean it up nicely. Compare that to that. Coming off pretty quick. A lot of grease, and grime, and Florida sand mixed with oil, and all kinds of crap on there. But it's coming out. I wanted to clean it up before I tear it apart because so all that stuff doesn't fall inside. Now I took the uh, axle bolt, axle axle bell bolts. Say that three times fast. Uh, out. And uh, pull the axle bells out. Still have to take the dip apart there. But all right, I slid the uh, housing off the axle. Then I took the nuts off the ring here able to separate them. All right, well, it's all for part. Uh, inspected it. I checked out all the spider gears and everything. They all, all the gears look really good. There's no galling or scratching or uh, chipped gears anywhere. So that's good. The one thing that I did find was there was a uh, there's a bearing in here that supports the end of the axle. I was able to, um, you know, when the axle was in that housing there, I was able to move it up and down. So I'm gonna have to replace those bearings. But other than that, the axles, they all look good. So, I think I'll be able to uh, just order those two bearings and then the seal kit, uh, some new keyways and drive shaft pins and Clean it all up, paint it, put it back together. Well, while I'm waiting for parts to come in for the 39 axle, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the rear spring hangers off of the Model A axle that came with the coupe. Um, <clears throat> I know it's kind of ruining the Model A axle, but uh, if you want to buy aftermarket ones, it's $125. I probably couldn't get $125 for this Model A axle, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut these off. This is this is the part that I need. So, all right. Well, after many hours of cutting, grinding, with about every cutting and grinding tool I have. Uh, this is what I have from the Model A axle and putting this on the 39 rear axle makes it a spring over which is what I need. So they will bolt and weld onto the top of that axle and then I'll go ahead and cut the old rear spring hanger off of uh, the axle bell here. So I think they came out pretty good. They needed some some attention. Uh, There's a few areas on the ends that were corroded and bent out, but just banged them back with a hammer, welded them up, grind them down, and uh, they'll be good. Well, while I was putting this video together, I noticed a couple of mistakes I made, and I'm going to go ahead and make a correction to those. 
Um, and the end of the axle here, it, there's not bearings, it's just a grease seal um, that I'll have to replace. I got those on order. And when I said I cleaned that bell up with a wire brush, I meant my angle grinder with a like a wire wheel on it. And um, also I'll try to remember to turn the turn my fan off so you don't get the wind noise and turn the music down so it's not such a distraction. But uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. See ya.